in this session let us discuss about histogram equalization in the last session we discussed about histogram and we know that processing a histogram helps in improving the quality of an image an image is given here we have four different images here the first one is a dark image second is a light image third is a normal low contrast image and the last one is a high contrast image and the histogram associated with each of the images given below it in the first image if you see it is a dark image the most populated histogram bins are concentrated on the lower end of the intensity scale for the second one that is a lighter image the most populated bins are biased towards the higher end of the scale third image we have is a low contrast image and a narrow histogram located typically towards the middle of the intensity scale for high contrast image that is the last image given here in this example the histogram is distributed across 0 to l minus 1 from this we can conclude that a high contrast image will have a flattened histogram which is uniformly distributed across intensity level ranging from 0 to l minus 1 hence to get a high contrast image we can use histogram equalization method so that the intensity values are distributed across 0 to l minus 1 consider this example where in the first image we have the histogram of an input image we can see that histogram plots towards lower intensity level and hence it is a dark image if we perform histogram equalization on this image the output output image will appear as shown in the diagram to the right here you can notice that the histogram is uniformly distributed across the range 0 to l minus 1 now in order to transform the image the original image that is a dark image to a normally distributed image uh, we have to apply a transformation function now here is a transformation function which is given as a general form s equal to t of r in this case s is the intensity value of the transformed image r is the intensity of the input image and t is the transformation function when this transformation function is applied on the input image we get the transformed output image now in order to perform histogram equalization there are two conditions to be satisfied the first condition says that t of r is a single valued and monotonically increasing function in the interval of 0 to l minus 1 second condition says that t of r ranges from 0 to l minus 1 for all r varying from 0 to l minus 1 now in order to understand these two criteria let us start with the first criteria or which says that t of r is a single valued and monotonically increasing function now consider the graph given here in order to understand the meaning of monotonically increasing function and single valued here in this particular graph s is a function of r and where uh, in this case r is representing the intensity value of the input image you can see that here in the along the x axis we have r and along the y axis we have s so here r is representing the intensity value of input image and s is representing the intensity value of the output image or the transformed image and we know that t of r is a transformation function now if you look into both the graphs both of these graphs are monotonically increasing functions first one is a monotonically increasing function with many to one mapping you can see that here for multiple inputs you have single output sq so it is a monotonically increasing function with many to one mapping and the second graph if we can see uh, this graph again is a monotonically increasing function whereas single it's a, it has a one to one mapping that is single input rk is mapped to a single output sk so monotonically increasing function is based on the cumulative result so it is a increasing function cumulative result means increasing by successive addition now if you consider the second graph we know we have seen that rk is mapped to sk that is single value of input is mapped to single value of output now the meaning of that is Uh, upon using the transformation function rk is changed to sk now using the transformed value the original value can be re recovered by inverse transformation function so if i apply inverse transformation from here i can re retrieve the original value whereas you see in the first first graph multiple input values are mapped to single output value sq so in case if i want to recover it is not possible to reconstruct the original value of the image the reason is if you perform inverse of this particular value sq it is mapped to more than one input value 
a single value of sq is mapped to more than one multiple values in the input in the r in the input in intensity so it is not possible to reconstruct the original value this is the meaning of the first statement which says that it should be single value so that we can reconstruct the original value using inverse transform the second condition says that if the input intensity is ranging from 0 to l minus 1 output intensity also should range from 0 to l minus 1 you can see that in the graph input intensity is ranging from 0 to l minus 1 along the x axis output intensity is also ranging from 0 to l minus 1 in the y axis so if an image satisfies these conditions then we can perform histogram equalization now let us consider an image with continuous intensity values here we can see a graph wherein you have an image with continuous intensity value now upon applying the histogram equalization we get an image or we get a flattened image wherein the values are equally distributed that is an image which produces an equally distributed flattened histogram is the output of this function when you are applying a transformation function on this uh, on this uh, continuous image so for continuous intensity values let us consider probability dens uh, density function where pr of r is the probability density function of r and uh, where r is the intensity of input image and ps of s is the probability density function of s s is the intensity of the output image now to find the probability distributed function of uh, sorry to find the probability density function of transformed variable s we use the probability density function of input image now since the image is a continuous image the transform function t of r is a differential over 0 to l minus 1 so we can write uh, the density function ps of s as uh, that is equal to PR of R multiplied by magnitude of dr by ds. Let us consider this as equation 1. Now we know that the general transformation function is S equal to T of R. Let us name it as equation 2. Now let us choose a transformation operator. In this case we are choosing a transformation operator T of R equal to L minus 1 0 to R PR of W dw. Now, here in this case, w is a dummy variable which is considered for the integration. Now, in order to find out dr by ds uh, from uh, equation 2, that is from s equal to t of r, we can get, if we differentiate, we get, uh, that is differentiate with respect to r on both the sides. Then we get ds by dr equal to d by dr of t of r. Now, we know that uh, the transformation function we are considering here is L minus 1 integral of 0 to R PR of W dW from equation 3. So, substitute the value of T of R in ds by dr, we get ds by dr equal to d by dr of L minus 1 integral 0 to R PR of W dW. Now, we know that L minus 1 is a constant. So, uh, we can uh, take the constant outside of differentiation, we get ds by dr equal to l minus 1 d by dr of integral 0 to r pr of w dw. Now we know that differentiation and integration over a single variable gets cancelled. Hence we get ds by dr equal to l minus 1 pr of r. Now if we rewrite this equation that is equation 1 is ps of s equal to pr of r into magnitude of dr by ds. And we have ds by dr equal to l minus 1 pr of r. Substitute these values, that is the value of equation 1, equation 4. In equation 1, we get ps of s equal to pr of r into magnitude of 1 by l minus 1 pr of r. Now, pr of r and pr of r get cancelled. What remains is ps of s equal to 1 by l minus 1. This is a constant value ranging from 0 to L minus 1. Now, probability density function PS of S after transformation results with constant value having amplitude 1 by L minus 1 throughout the range from 0 to L minus 1 resulting in a flattened histogram. So, you can see the flattened histogram given here in the uh, figure. And uh, so, this concludes that any image can be transformed to a flattened histogram to increase the quality of image. That is all with uh, histogram equalization. Thank you.